You are now listening to Alice in Space. The story was written by Beta Roxana Tarani and narrated by Sean Raftery. Alice fell hard to the floor of the spaceship. She opens her eyes and shoots up like a bolt of lightning. Footsteps approaching. An intruder! Alien! Who are you? Jack Rogers. Captain Jack Rogers. I don't know how you got here. No one is welcome on my ship. They started fighting with swords and pipes, but... Captain Jack Roger freezes in his tracks. Alice takes a seat on the back of the spaceship gazing to outer space. Captain, where did she come from? That's what I'm curious about myself. Plus, aren't you supposed to keep tabs on this sort of stuff? Water or coffee? No rum on this spaceship? We drink rum on a special occasion, and this is not a special occasion. What's your name? I'm Alice. How did you get aboard my spaceship? From a portal. All I remember is running away from someone. I had a daughter. For some reason, you remind me of her. How did you get on the spaceship? I was in a desperate situation, so I took my friend's spaceship. Took? Well, I can't say that I stole it, now can I? (laughs) Is there another portal so I can go home? It's too dangerous for us to go. Welcome aboard, Alice. In the control room, Captain Jack Rogers sits in his chair, in deep thought. He begins talking to Gideon, so close to defeating the hooded figures, how he would do anything to get his daughter back. Gideon did bring up the gray hole twister, a a tunnel. Use a galaxy dust to open a portal and Anyway, Jack thinks it's too dangerous. Get in. Information on Alice. The information that I have on Alice is that she's home in the woods of Canada, year 2020. Is there anything connecting her with the hooded figures? Negative, Captain. It's not in the database. I insist that you go talk to her. She's in the arsenal room. Alice strolls down and stumbles into the arsenal room. Her eyes fall upon a bow and arrow. She picks it up, holding out, getting ready to aim. Jack walks in. Alice spins around, but misses Jack. How did you know I was here? Gideon told me. Who's Gideon? Hello, Alice. I'm Gideon, at your service. Okay. Gideon is a spaceship computer system. Now, I I know what y'all gonna say. We have Siri and Alexa. You, You know what? Gideon is way better. Gideon is capable of doing many things. Hacking, putting people to sleep, reading their dreams and minds. And Alice was so curious about the captain's daughter. You see, the captain's daughter was taken by hooded figures. Sorcerers. Powerful. Alice and the captain started arguing. Isn't that what love is about? You'll do anything, even if it means to face danger or to fight. Good example is you! Stealing! <clears throat> took! Your friend's spaceship! It's called Things We Do For Love. Oh yeah. That got Captain Jack to change his mind and head straight to the Grey Hole Twister. What is that? That's a Grey Hole Twister. Say what now? That's impossible. The Grey Hole Twister isn't a thing. It's a myth. It doesn't exist. Believe in the impossible. The gray hole twisters exist, Miss Alice. I would probably stay away from the window. The gray hole will make the window sensitive. I suggest you strap yourself tight into your chair. They entered. Darkness around them. Alice feels the extreme pressure in her head. She tries to break out of her seat. Jack pulls the lever down. The spaceship begins to shake. Jack starts yelling in frustration. As the spaceship speeds out of the gray hole, the pressure stops. Alice begins coming in and out of consciousness. Now I can assure you, 
that Captain Jack Roger has gone mad before, but doesn't wish to speak of his illusion. Jack doesn't explain what he is doing, but sends two crew members out with special armor. They glided towards the colorful halos. As the crew members got back, handing over to the captain a small bottle of galaxy dust. Once Alice held the bottle, she sees Jack hurt, heartbroken. Now we wonder why. Why Alice changed her mind, not wanting to go back home. She hands over the galaxy dust to the captain. A daughter needs her father. Let's go find your daughter. The portal opens, and the spaceship speeds out into the dusty gray portal. I'm afraid this journey is to be continued. Thank you for listening to Alice in Space. In space.